What are your opinions regarding our government's response to what's happening in Egypt? Obviously, we have to do somewhat of a fine line because they have been our allies and they, we had the great peace agreement that has happened over 30 years ago. Um, so what are your opinions on, should we, some people are saying that, you know, the president should force the president of Egypt out of there. Some people say we should be very restrained because it's a very sensitive situation and we don't know what the next government is going to be. Um, so what are your opinions regarding that? Mm -hmm. Um, I think the president has been very adept at the way he has handled this situation. Um, one of the first things you heard out of Washington, out of the White House, was we're reviewing our military aid. That was a very clear signal to the military that they should tread very carefully with respect to violence. You heard the president and the secretary of the state very clearly um, say that we will stand with the people of Egypt. Um, as the situation has become more chaotic, today you've heard the president actually pushed uh, Mubarak to begin a transition, and I think he used the word now. I mean, yesterday, he said. It yesterday. Did. Yes. So I think he's handled it very adeptly, and he's he's in a little bit of a frankly we. It's not just him. I'm in a box because we have always lent, leaned in the direction of stability and away from popular self determination. So you read about. Saudi Arabia and Egypt and Morocco and Tunisia, U.S. supported despotic regimes. It always in the long run ends badly for us when we do that, whether you're looking at, you know, Somoza in 1979 or the Shah. I guess it was Iran, the Shah in 1979. Iran, the Philippines, another one. Yeah. And, um, you know, it was George W. Bush, a guy I don't often compliment. I don't agree with the means that he employed to try to bring around, or, you know, re re political reform, but he made the point political openness and reform are very much in our national security interest. Uh, but we're in a box because, you know, as John pointed out, there's no guarantee that coming out of Cairo, you know, coming out of this, that we see a more open and reform regime. We Americans often think that you just need to get rid of the dictator to have a democracy. Democracy relies on strong institutions like a judiciary and a free press and all sorts of other things that don't in many instances exist in this country. So you can't just get rid of a dictator and assume you're going to have a assume you're going to have a